welcome to the last three bleach volume three. We're still going. We still can read, and we're getting to the sad part of bleach. Is this like sad part that we encountered in this volume, like a consistent sad time for the rest of the series, or is it just like it references it, kind of like in Naruto and Naruto's like, yeah, I'm an orphan. <laughs> yeah, no, it's not like a. I mean, as we see, this is this kind of establishes why Ichigo's the way he is, like in terms of just how serious he is and how um, how he like feels the need to protect people. And even, how edgy even, he is. Even the people he don't know. Yeah. Yeah. So, so what did you think? It wasn't that. I liked it. It seemed like a completely different like tone almost from what how, we've read up until this point. How do you feel about how Orihime was supposed to draw herself for the future, and she thinks she's gonna be a robot with like, rocket boob? I like that. Yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> how do you feel about Orihime after this? After this, because like. At the beginning, you you didn't realize that she was a consistent character. Yeah, cause she. I mean, she's not bad. I like her. It, it was her who has the line later in the thing. She's like, ah, I'm just planning to camp outside. It's reversible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, but but yeah, and then we get Totsuki. Ta- Totsuki is like up there for best girl, honestly. Like, is Totsuki gonna have like a consistent feelings arc for Ichigo, but can never have him because him and Rikia are like basically something? Um, it's weird. Like I told you, we don't get that much high school focus as the series goes on, so we see less of some characters. But yeah, for now, it's just childhood friends. Ichigo used to be a little, little baby, a little crybaby, and then and then something happened. We find out what happened. Yeah, his his mom died, and Ichigo just thought, like, it was just a random accident that killed her, as they're going to his grave, and Ruki is talking about it. But then, um, but then we get the reveal that it was a hollow the whole time. Kind of an ugly looking hollow. That that panel of Ichigo's mom dying is like really well done and really kind of horrifying, because you can see little uh, Ichigo under his dead mom. Yeah. Which, you know, the fact that he's traumatized, can't say I blame him, no. being completely honest. You can see how that just, like, changed who he was, and then that same hollow can, like, sense Ichigo and and has shown up. And, yeah, it's, it's one of the more intricate hollow designs we've seen. I don't know if they... Yeah, no, they said it in here, but, like, it's named, like, the, the King Fisher. The Grand Fisher. Grand Fisher, yeah. I like um, Cone's aspect in the series. Oh, yeah, yeah. We got the, so the mod soul we met last chapter. I like how they weren't sure what to do with him at first because they didn't want to like force out another soul to give him a body. So they were just like sitting by the street waiting for a cat to get run over. <laughs> but, but then they just stuck him in, in like a teddy bear lion thing. Look at his grand. But no, the 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 Grand Fisher's really a creepy design. He's yeah, he's all furry and he's got like chicken legs and a yeah, tail yeah. or not a tail, a t- long tongue. And then he's got he's that the licky girl. licky three thousand. You know what I'm saying? Aha. Yeah, and he's got his little puppet. Not a whole lot. I mean, well, obviously a lot like plot wise happens and like overall arcing story happens in this volume. Yeah, it's, it's really the, the longest like story we've had and but it's very contained though that's yeah it's all one story it's not like as episodic as it's been up to this point which is interesting because this is like by far the strongest hollow ichigo's fought when obviously and he doesn't win yeah yeah so wait wait let's take a second to appreciate as i'm skimming through the the chapter where Cone loses his purity thanks to Rukia. Oh yeah, he's forced to kiss Ichigo, and I hate how Cone's little the, what's body. What's the can... line by Cone? My purity, <laughs> my purity <laughs> has been plucked like a flower. <laughs> we were re- I was we were rereading the chapter sitting in the room, and I don't know if you heard when I read that one out loud. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I also like it's subtle, but I like how Ichigo's um, Soul Reaper design is different from Rukia's because he's got this cool like big belt thing along his chest. And then I think it's established in chapter one, but like just the reason his sword doesn't look like a regular k- katana is because your sword is like as big as your spiritual pressure is. And that's why he's got such a like massive sword. Because he's got that big drip spiritual pressure. Yeah, yeah. But but even, even with how strong he is, he's kind of 
he's not doing well against. Well, it's like it's, he has, he Victor. has the raw talent, right? The raw ability. But he has like basically zero training so far. Is there a big training arcs with Ichigo coming up? I mean, it's shonen, so you just gotta, you just gotta see. So yes. Um, but th- but then Grand Fish really pushes him over the edge for it when he like turns his puppet into Ichigo's mom, which is really really messed up. Yeah, it's kind of foul of him. It seems like a party foul. I'm yeah, not not really a fan of this guy to be honest. And then Ruki is all conflicted because Ichigo told her to stay out of it, but she knows she Ichigo would be killed if like she doesn't. Help. Yeah, because because then you get that the thing where Grand Fisher stabs through his puppet and Ichigo. Yeah. And, like, she has this internal debate. It's like, yeah, Ichigo's honor and, like, everything is on the line if I, like, interact. Especially since it's for his first fight as a soul reaper where it's for him. Yeah, yeah. This is, it's like, it's the first time it's been personal, which is a big deal. And then we go back and get some more, more Orihime and Tatsuki stuff. Which this is, is where she goes, it's reversible. <laughs> Or or Hime is is a is a very charming character. Do we so out of these two, which one is Orihime the most consistent? Or are they both pretty consistent? Um, you see Orihime more, yeah. Um, which is weird because Tatsuki really seems like more connected to Ichigo, but Orihime clearly has like more romantic feelings for him. And now she has like the connection between her losing her brother and him losing his mother. Is that so? Weird question for the future. Is it like? Is there ever is it one of those shonen where like feelings are just implied and like the, the main character doesn't have any, or is it like, is it going to be like your typical like, you know, medi- form of media where like he's gonna be with Ruki at the end sort of thing? There's more the relationships are more established than I would say like, even more established than Naruto. Okay. Uh, well, or at least on par with Naruto. It's not like One Piece where like it's completely ignored. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah, and then you get the great point where after Ichigo gets stabbed through, he, like, almost takes Grand Fisher's arm clean off because he's just so... Oh, look at that pan... Kubo's just so good at paneling. Like, look at how good that shot of Ichigo looks. Yeah, it's interesting, and I wonder if it's just because, you know, um, it's, like, an older, like, form of... And it's, like, a physical copy of what makes it so good, but it's, like, it's so much nicer to see this versus, uh... Uh, like reading like uh, my hero where it's like all digital and like it's not hand drawn. Yeah, see, I know, I know, I come across as a hipster so much, but like especially the manga, I love this older stuff where it's it's very like it's so inky, like the blacks are, it's it's like, yeah, I don't know, I I like my hero like character designs, but a lot of like the paneling and like effects and stuff, I'm or just not a fan awful. of. Yeah, yeah, and fights are very, and a lot, I think I told you, a lot of people criticize Bleach for having, like, too simple of fights, but I think it just works for, like... But I think, like, when you're, when it's in, like, when it's not in a digital form, I'd argue that, like, a, did like, a, a simple fighting style is much more easy to follow and more pleasing to follow versus, like, I th- chaos, yeah. I and, mean, like, that's problems they have with, like, Black Clover and stuff, is, like, you know, like, seeing spells are, like, really cool, like, in the anime, right? Mm-hmm. Because it makes sense because we use a follow, but when like it's in the manga and you're like they're like, you know, magical power, divine water dragon or some random crap, right? It's like oh this is stupid because it's just like a panel of two of just ooh yeah well, and just like hand yeah hand drawn stuff will always look really nice even just like I I just like how Kubo draws characters because after after the fight resolves and yeah Grand Fisher escapes, um. And then we yeah, get a little good old Papa, yeah, Papa Ichigo, Ichigo and Dad Kurosaki. I, I love his dad. Um, but yeah, you get him running away, and then Ichigo collapsing on Rukia. Rukia is such a good character too. Just like how how she cares about Ichigo more than just his position as as like her replacement. No, I agree. Um, so who does he wind up dating in the series? Is this, is that spoilers? No spoilers. Ah, that's so upsetting. I'm assuming Rukia. No spoilers. And then you uh, you get the really touching thing of Ichigo talking to his mom's grave, and he's just you can see Ichigo is just like blaming himself for everything and super down on himself. But then 
his dad shows up and you know they beat the shit out of each other like they do and like his dad doesn't remember how long his wife has been dead again probably another like result of severe trauma yeah yeah he's been through a lot um and and yeah he says a little like monologue about smoking but then i really like the next few panels where ichigo's basically asking his dad to blame him for his mom's death and not only is he just like totally against the idea but he also talks about how like what he wants from ichigo i like i love these lines here where he's like where he's like um die laughing li- live a good long life go bald and die after i do and if you can die laughing like that's that's so good I mean, that's what you want from your kid in the long run you know what i mean you want them to if they, yeah. like, you want to live longer <laughs> and you definitely like want to die at like or you want them to live longer and when they do die you want to make sure like you know they're not no regrets yeah, yeah. it's just it's a, it's also just so nice because um you know, with a lot of shonens, and not that it's a bad thing, but just you get a lot of your orphans and stuff, and and it's it's kind of like, um, kind of like my hero, and but I honestly like it better than my hero, and that like in my hero you get the really nice relationship between Deku and his mom, and this is like very different from that, but just again having the characters not be an orphan and just um actually having a healthy relationship, having although a it feels like if you're not an orphan, there is no other parent, there's only one parent. Yeah, yeah. But like, just like you can see that his dad kind of is going like you can kind of see a lot of parallels between Ichigo and his dad because I'm sure like his dad also really wants to save people as like a as a doctor and and he's he's still definitely getting over the loss of his wife and everything because I mean he's, he's I think his dad's pretty young I don't think they were together for that that long I mean at least Ichigo probably yeah probably like nine years because that's how old Ichigo is it Something like that. I'm always well. If he is supposed to be like 15 or 16 now, and his mom died 10 years prior. No, six years. Oh, six. Because that was the thing prior. he got it wrong. But no, it said it said each goes nine when she died. Okay, so at least nine, probably 10, 11 years. Yeah, I don't know. But then you get, and then you get another good interaction between Ichigo and Rukia, where he, and we, we forget. It's, it's it's Ichigo's powers should be temporary. Like eventually, Rukia should get her powers back, right? And he just says how he does it. He wants to stay a Soul Reaper until he can kill King Fisher, the Grand Fisher, so he can face his mother again. And then we get the really interesting ending because it's interesting because in the anime, I'm pretty sure this they cut this part mm-hmm. and they don't include it until way later because um. Because this isn't going to show up again for quite a while, which yeah. is interesting. But we get some weird, it seems like partial hollow guy, operating on the Grand Fisher and taking his mask off, which, we, we you know, that doesn't seem like a thing you can do. And he looks totally different. Um, and they, they imply that taking his mask off makes him way more powerful. So, yeah, what do you, what do you make of that? That's crazy. Because I know I've seen, like, stuff about certain aspects of Bleach later on the line. But, yeah, it'll be interesting. So, I wonder why the anime did that then. Is it just because it made more sense later on? Well, like, this is definite. The thing is, yeah, I don't. I, I really want you to go in as blind as you can because I think it's more interesting. But this is kind of foreshadowing for the arc after, like, an arc fairly down the road. Like, we have a couple good size arcs before this one. So I think they probably just cut it out. And maybe at the time they didn't know if the anime was going to make it that long, honestly. Um, but yeah, so at this point, I think I told you we have about 52-ish chapters, like a, a year's worth of um, of just kind of episodic hollow hunting. Like bleach. on top of what we're at so far? No, no, total. So, like, we're halfway, essentially, to... Yeah, so it's it's roughly three more volumes of, of just chilling out, because, yeah, or maybe only two more volumes, actually, because I think the next volume... Well, 26 chapters, and these of each chapter's nine, so it's about three volumes. Yeah, yeah. What is the... I think things... Uh, yeah, I'm not sure, honestly. I, um, I assume there's two full more volumes of just episodic crap and then hey don't call it crap the third volume will be like half 
pro yeah, and that's so right. Because I think I think the next volume cover is um oh what's that guy's name? He's a character we're gonna meet. So the glasses guy you're asking. Or are you? We're gonna meet or are you. you. And then and then we get another volume that has Chad on the cover. And then the next one's new character. But yeah, I I forgot how I think uh, and again it's interesting because I only ever watched the anime of these early arcs. We get um we get some interesting. Just like slow development of the characters, pretty it's pretty nice. So yeah, it's yeah we did we still definitely have some characters to introduce. There's there's like a lot that will still happen in the next twenty five chapters. Can we get for our room next year? Can we get a banner of cone doing the my purity? It has been plucked. Deflowered. Can we just get like a little cone plushie? That'd be fun. Can we just get a plushie of every anime, like like of like the, the most adorable character from the anime? Can we get like a plushie of them? Because like we have um, we were just recently got a pochita, a pochita plushie. Yes, it's adorable. And then we get a cone, right? and then we can get Chomper. We yeah, we could get Chomper. Who's from Naruto? We could get like a go. Well, we already have our little frog purses. That but we could cone. also get um. Which one is the frog's name? Not the frog. The dog's name that uh, Kakashi uses. The oh, little... I love that guy. Yeah, yeah. We can get that dude, or we can get um Kiba and um. Rikimaru? No. Oh, Akamaru. Akamaru yeah. is a puppy. That'd be um, adorable. Yeah, I also kind of want to get a like, I kind of want a straw hat, and then. I think straw hat banner would be the coolest because also like. Oh, like, yeah, would... flag. Yeah, I just mean a literal straw hat, too. You'd look oh, handsome wow. in a straw hat, Lucas. Wait, what? You'd look handsome in a straw hat. Thank you. It'd be cool if we could get a picture, like, for a channel. It's like, one of us wearing a straw hat, one of us wearing a Naruto headband, one of us wearing a thing from Bleach. The spoiler, sh- can't tell you yet. No, spoiler. Spoiler. That thing? Spoiler. Spoiler. Am I doing the right thing, Lucas? I mean, I mean baby, I don't know. Look at those at home. I'm slamming my face into my hand. Like, my hand into my face. Straw like, hat. I'm putting on a mask. <laughs> That's not the same That's thing. That's the same thing. I mean, it's not. Shoo! Why are we... Why? Yeah, yeah, we're we're recording next time. This is if if it, I, it should be getting picked up. This is Coos, our our future roommate and maybe guest star on the podcast. He's been point. on the channel before. I don't Lucas, think so. Lucas improperly labeled the video where we were playing Phasmophobia, and it's with Austin, Lucas, and I. And he has he has the video labeled as Phasmophobia time with Galen. Don't don't act like I'm a failure. When was the last time you uploaded a video, Connor? Probably. When was the last time you called me Galen, Connor? Is that a point? Never. What, never. I'm, I'm I only the I'm, only I'm, names I, I get still. <laughs> the only names I get fucked up are names that end in similar. Um, Morris and Lucas. Yeah, Lucas and Morris. He calls me Connor all the time. Dude, get dunked on. That's because you're both shorter than me and have darker hair like anime. Basically the same person. I mean, mind. is he Damn. wrong? Damn. Except one of us is more. <laughs> those, are the, those are the only like three identifying criteria I have for people shorter than me, darker hair, hair color, than me. Anime preference. <laughs> that's all, I mean, that's all you need. They should make a... What do you think... Can we get... So Austin and I have been watching Fuck That's Delicious starring Action Bronson. What do you think it would take... To get Action Bronson on the podcast. I can't imagine he's too expensive. I don't know who Action Bronson is. I mean, I don't think Action Bronson watches anime. But he'd probably sure get to play does. a game with us. He'd probably play Apex or something. We get Mayhem Lauren on the podcast. I, he definitely watches anime. Mayhem Lauren loves Yu-Gi-Oh, I guarantee it. Oh, I love Yu-Gi-Oh. Well, we're going to play Yu-Gi-Oh next year. It'll be so good. I'll bring all Stay my Stay tuned decks. for us becoming Yu-Gi-Oh, like, packed, like... The people who like unpack like open packs of stuff. I can't afford that. I mean, we need to, we need to get a thousand okay. subscribers so we can start monetizing our videos. We need a certain amount of view hours too. Yeah, well th- those we can like we'll get that. This, I think one comes with the other. With how long our videos are, if we can get that many subscribers, we'll get the hours. This easy. manga review has turned into a lads rant. It's it's fine. We're not even at twenty minutes yet because I mean, we read the chapters. Up and do your videos. No, no, because we or normally our volume reviews are longer. We just kind of went through this one quicker because it was like. Very straightforward story. Right, anime recommendation: Shigahime. It's, Shigahime. it's about a it's about a hot vampire woman who makes who makes a 
makes like a 15 year old boy her slave. Whoa. But, Why are uh, we but, watching, man? It's in Cougies. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, yeah that's, that was the one we found it in a one page that unfortunate. It was great. Yeah, I couldn't find the like, I couldn't find that one uh, panel that we saw on the one page thing on 4chan. I didn't see that panel. That's weird. Maybe it wasn't. Maybe so, like, it wasn't maybe even the same cross series. Cross referenced the wrong thing. Whatever you like, reverse Google searched it, and and I quote, "Thanks to my expert Google skills, <laughs> I found the anime." It I did. I ago. did say that. Cause you could like if you read the first three volumes of Bleach, you could do the next review with us. You should wear a shitty teammate. We could do a review on it. It's only thirty chapters. Hot vampire woman makes the kid her slave. No, no, see. You should, but be... like in a hot way. <laughs> <laughs> you should read Spy X Family. Dude, Spy X Family was great. It's so Anya. good. Hey. Let's just <laughs> let's shout out our Spy X Family series. Expect more episodes of that in the future. Okay, we're we're past twenty minutes. We should probably end this one. Thank you guys for listening. Um, we're probably gonna do more bleach reviews in the future. Like I said, we're almost into like what's considered peak bleach, so we might as well keep going until we hit that. We might do like m- multiple volumes in one episode. To make things. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Let's not bite off more than we can chew. We'll All right. Yeah. Stay tuned for more Pokemon. Uh, things get real bad. Um. Yeah. Dude, well, not not like where they're watching now. Um. You, we forget how far ahead we are of like the material. Um. But yeah, dude. As always, comment if there's anything you want us to make or stop making, or if you want us to like kick Connor off the podcast. Just stop like, making One Piece reviews. <laughs> we've never reviewed One Piece. Connor has refused to read it. It's a thousand good, chapters. Good on you. <laughs> oh, Kuz, I was looking. You know we, we're... Okay, hold on. Let's close this out. Wait, wait. This is, this is cool. Kuz and I have been watching One Piece. We're past the 100 chapter mark. Oh, wow. Yeah. Cool. We're only a tenth of the way there. Hey, that's not bad. Okay. <laughs> we've Thanks watched for tuning in. I've been series. Connor. I've been Lucas. Goodbye. See you next I'm week. Austin. Oh, yeah, that AKA guy. AKA Jacuzzi. Follow me on twitch.tv forward slash jacuzzi with three O's, two Z's, one I. If we I, appear if, on if, stream with him quite often. That's true. If I remember all the way to Bye. Hey, 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 hey,